as everyone types those in the chat section, just for the sake of the recording, I just started the recording, um, but we're just starting our work hour with a little bit of gratitude. Um, so anytime we start a work hour, I think it's a great idea just to, just to get in a mindset of gratitude and think of something that you are thankful for um, right now. And we are going to dig in. So if you've ever been on a power hour before, this is a little bit different, but um, I've just learned over the last couple of years how important personal development can be and working that into your week, whether that's one hour a week, 30 minutes a week, whatever that looks like for you. Um, so we're going to do a little bit of personal development together. Uh, Young Living recently put out a how to share, I can't remember what it's called now, honestly sharing start here the free training you need to succeed in young living it's about an hour long um and it's a great thing just to even be aware of as you're sharing with other people that you can point them to a great resource we're going to listen to like a nine minute clip from april porner that talks about um crafting your short story and how to share your story so i'm going to share my screen with you guys right here and we're just going to listen to this together okay Hey there, my name is April Pointer, and I'm going to be sharing with you today about storytelling. Storytelling is probably the most pivotal part of a young living. Pause real quick, you guys. I meant to say, while she's talking, um, be sure to listen because we want you to think of a takeaway that you learned from this, and our next activity is going to be directly related to what she talks about. Um, okay, here we go business. It is one of the best ways to convey information because a story is so memorable. Um, stories in this business help a lot because they tap into the emotions of the person that's listening. Um, so I will be the first to say that storytelling is very, very easy to learn and you can teach it to other people and duplicate it. So sharing your story does not have to be half an hour long. It does not have to be convoluted and, and complicated. It should actually only be around five or six minutes long to tell somebody your story that you're leading or bringing into Young Living. Now there are four parts to a story. We have to communicate all four parts effectively. The first part is our background. The second is our struggles, our dissatisfaction. The third part is the solution we found. And the fourth part is our hope for the future. So let's start off with number one and dissect this. The first part, your background. This is where you start off with your story, where you're from, where you grew up, what your career is, what your skill sets are, what life was like for you before Young Living. This is the very first part of your story. And then you move into number two. And number two is the dissatisfaction with your circumstance or the part you didn't like, whatever the struggle actually was. And this is where you're getting real and you're getting vulnerable and you're sharing your struggles here. And when you are vulnerable and authentic and real, this is where people start to care about you and they start to like you. They want to get to know you better and they want to help you. Why is that? Because there's probably a shared pain there because you're sharing some pain points and there's probably something that they're sharing a pain with you. This is what, this is the part that tells somebody, or they're, they're telling you, I can connect to you. I can relate to you. Like we're the same, me and you. So without this second point, this is going to be very, very empty conversation. The second point should take up probably 60 to 70% of the storytelling itself. The third part is that you have found a solution. Number three, and this solution um, is what created a way for you to live a better life because you have Young Living in it now, your solution. You now have a healthier life. You have a more fulfilled life, a bigger life, all within Young Living, within health and wellness, and all the things that Young Living brings to our home. And then the fourth and final point is, this is a part of our story that we're talking about how we feel about the future. And that's pretty much it. It's not complicated. But with these four parts of the story, the more your story um, is, is being told, the more comfortable you're going to get telling it. And it can feel really uncomfortable starting to tell your story. So I drew this out for you because I think it's a really good analogy here. So here we are in our comfort zone down here, and we want to talk about Young Living, and we want to share a story, but we don't really know who or how. 
And so we stretch a little bit and we learn how to do that. And that's where these little lines are come right here. And you're just starting to step into this magic happening, personal development, growth stretch area here. And then once you move beyond that, it's, it just takes a little bit. It just takes a, a few steps to really get jumping in over here and, and to dive in. So anyway, when you get out of your comfort zone, this is where we get, okay? So back to those four points. Can you take a guess on which of those four points is the absolute most important step? Well, I might, I might shock you, but the very most pivotal part of the story is number two, and that is your pain points, your dissatisfaction or your struggle. And this is so important because this is where all of the emotion is in your storytelling. This is where your listener is going to be connecting to your past circumstance that you're sharing, and it's what makes the listener care about you because, again, all of the emotion is involved. This is where they're saying, Oh yeah, me too. I, I feel your vibe. Like I've got you. I get it. And right here, this is what creates either a closer bond with a friend or family member, or it brings a stranger in closer in a very short period of time because they can connect to you emotionally like this. All of the above does not really care about number three and four in your life. Uh, they don't really necessarily care about your hopes and dreams or your future, unless it's your mom. Okay, or your spouse. <laughs> so when we're storytelling, we always want to focus on point number two, which is our dissatisfaction or our pain points. And again, I would spend at least 60 to 70% of that on that area, that struggle. Now, a lot of your friends and family may not have heard your second point, those pain points in your life, and they don't even know about them because you put on a brave face at the time when you're walking through that, or if you're still walking through that, and they just don't know about it. So this is going to connect a whole new layer of people by connecting to them emotionally to you. So back to three and four, your solution and hope for the future. These are great and they are necessary to talk about, but they're just information. It's great information, but it's just information. There's very little passion happening in those last three, uh, two points. When you only focus on those two points, this is where salespeople get a bad rap or network marketing gets a bad rap because it comes across as arrogant and self-absorbed and salesy and, and gross. It makes people feel like they need a shower, right? We all know the, like, the salesperson, the salesman that we just throw all of our objections at because we're just like, ah, there's no emotion there. There's no connection. And so people walk away again, probably feeling like they need a shower. So we want to stick to all four points. Don't tell one without the other. Don't tell just one and two. Don't tell just two and three. You want to, you want to tell all four points. Okay. And the more specific your story is, the more impact and the more powerful it's going to be to your listener because you're adding action, you're adding dialogue and you're adding body language to it. So I want you to write it out and read it out loud to yourself and find out if you can identify areas that you need to change or improve on and then have a friend or a spouse or an audience sit down um, and listen to you. Is that going to feel weird? Yes. Is that going to feel uncomfortable? Mm, probably. <laughs> Do you want to grow in this? I'm guessing your answer is yes or you wouldn't be watching any of these trainings. But why even do this? Well, the reason for doing this is practicing in front of other people is because eventually you want this to just roll off your tongue and every time you tell your story, you will improve it and your body posture will get better. Your confidence will grow. Your nonverbal communication is going to get better and better because we want this and we need this because people are buying you. And before they enroll in Young Living, they are buying you and your story and why they should even join. So. Go, write it down, practice it. I want you to share your story with a handful of people over the next two weeks. And this will get, this alone, sharing it over two weeks will get you more comfortable talking to people and more comfortable building your business. All right, you guys. Hope that was helpful for you. I feel like even if we are 
seasoned in this, revisiting, sharing our story is really important. Um, so if you have a minute, if you have a takeaway from that, I'd love for you to share those in the comments. Uh, we are going to um, spend the next 10 minutes uh, using the tips that April shared to shape our Young Living story. So if you've never done this, set a timer for 10 minutes and just write what comes to mind. You can edit later. I listened to something recently um, that talked about having three components to our story, passion, compassion, and confidence. Um, you guys, if you're here, you probably all have a passion for sharing, right? Um, the compassion part, do we have a compassionate heart towards other people and meeting them in their journey? And then the confidence part, you guys, is going to come from that repetition that April talked about. So if you've already worked through crafting your story before, um, use this time to edit or practice saying it out loud. If you're ready to take it to the next level, schedule a time on your calendar this month to do a Facebook Live and share a piece of your story or share a time to reach out to a friend and meet one-on-one -on -one of them one-on-one -on -one with them to share a piece of your story, okay? I'm gonna add that in the chat and we are gonna spend the next 10 minutes working on that together.
Okay, guys, that 10 minutes is up. This is something that you can um, constantly work through, right? Our stories are always changing. We're always having new experiences or maybe working on a new wellness goal. So this is something that um, you can constantly be updating and sharing with people. Okay, we're going to move on now. I know that so many of you are working towards Dream 500 and earning those points um, and that there are we wanted to make this one really easy and doable for newbies, anyone who doesn't even have a member on their team yet, yet, right? Um, so let's spend the next 10 minutes and I want you guys to, it's not 10 minutes, sorry, five minutes. It's gonna go quick. So I want you to just be thinking the first thing that comes to your mind, the first 10 people that you can think of in your life who still need oils. Um, I don't want you to just write those names down. I want you to also rate them on a scale of zero to 10 with how comfortable you currently feel sharing with them. Okay, how comfortable do you currently feel sharing oils with them right now? Five minutes, 10 people, and we're gonna use this list in a minute, okay?
Okay, you guys, that five minutes is up. Did everybody get their list? All right, so the fastest way to grow really is to get people to classes, right? Um, so if you are a brand newbie here, we have several classes happening this month that you can plug people into, even if you're not a brand newbie, if you're like, I'm in a really hard season of life, um, use these classes to plug your people into. That's what they are here for. We are here to help you educate your people. So I'm going to list all the classes that you can plug people into. Um, and I want you to try to in personally invite five people to class in the next 15 minutes. Okay. Um, if you only feel like you can confidently because of where your relationship is, invite two people. That's great. Like invite two people. If you feel like you are at a point where you can invite 10 people, that's great too. But let's work towards five. Um, this is where your list is going to come in handy. Anyone on your list that you just created who fell into that five to 10 range, those are really great candidates for people who are probably open and ready to hear from you, um, to share a piece of your story and to invite them to a class. Okay. If you are already been building and you're like, yeah, I've got this thing, get a couple classes on the books. If you need help with how, what that looks like in this season, let us know. If you are someone who wants to get your oils paid for and you're not sure about this, reach out to your enroller. Use this 15 minutes to reach out to your enroller, reach out to your sponsor and ask them to host a class for you, to co-host a class for you, okay? Um, everybody feel good with that? We're going to spend 15 minutes with this. I'm going to drop this in the comments. And then I'm also going to give you guys all the links to classes. There's one happening tonight on CBD. You have somebody interested in that. All right. Good luck, guys.
Okay, you guys, that 15 minutes is up. Hope that you got some good invites out um, and are feeling confident with those. The next thing that we're gonna do is, um, those of you with members, you can run a report in your virtual office. You can do this through oily tools. Let us know if you need help. Uh, but we wanna look at who of our members are on Honest and True Rewards and has enrolled at least one person ever. Okay, um, so we know that there are a lot of points to be earned with Dream 500 for those people that you help rank to star um, that are your personally enrolled. So we want to look at those people who love their oils, who has already shared before. Um, this is already something that they've done before that they may be a little bit more comfortable with. Let's reach out to those people and let them know about the Dream 500 promotion. Uh, make sure that they know that they can get these fancy oils for free and that you're here to help them do that really easily. Um, you guys can plug them into that bougie on a budget event and walk through those simple steps together. Um, if you've done this already, then I want you to spend this time reaching out to those people that you've already connected with. Um, several people have said like, yes, I'm going to that event, but they haven't plugged in. Um, maybe they're waiting on somebody to reach out and help them do the next thing. So reach out and see what they're thinking, see where they're at, make plans with them to help keep them moving forward. If you don't have members yet, then I want you guys to keep working on tasks three and four. Okay, there's so much that can be done in those tasks um, in just 10 more minutes. So go ahead and plug back into those and let's get to work. 10 minutes, you guys.
Okay, guys, I forgot to set a timer, so I have no idea where we're at in that, <laughs> but we are hitting the three o'clock mark. So I wanted to leave you with one final thing as we finish up the hour. Um, maybe if you're like, this hour was great, how do I do this tomorrow? <laughs> Um, you can repeat this tomorrow and get a lot of good stuff out of it. But one thing that really helps me is the power of three. I just put it in the, the chat. Spend a few minutes after we get off this call, um, five minutes even, think, making a list of three things that you want to accomplish tomorrow that's going to lead you closer to your dream 500 goals. I've given you a list of ideas there that you can copy and paste. Riley says hello. Um, and she's like, there's my name. Um, and yeah, I hope this is really helpful for you guys. So pick three things. If you'll do that each night before you start the next day, then when you have a little nuggets of time or you have an hour and you already have a really focused plan for how to make your work time really count. So I hope this was helpful. We have three more of these scheduled for the month within the business page. So make sure you go there, plug in, and we hope to see you next week. Good luck rocking your businesses. Y'all have a wonderful day. Thank you. Love you, Riley. Thanks, Erin. Bye, Riley. They're all saying bye. Bye, guys.